Hi, I'm Carlton, an Auto Brake team member. Welcome to the Auto Brake installation instruction series. In this video, we're going to talk about troubleshooting and some hints to help you with that process. We received phone calls about some questions about the aspects of the auto brake and some things may not be working correctly. Here's some of the common ones. Number one is when you wire up your auto brake and you've got power to it, the LED doesn't light up. So what we'd recommend in a situation like that is taking that voltmeter again and checking your voltage on the brake lines as well as the power, which is your black wire. So your black wire, your brown and red, check to see if there's any voltage on those. I would actually have you check all the wires because once in a while, if you go with certain color codes, although they may match, there could be a situation there where you make, I've put the wire in the wrong location. We get a lot of customers that call that'll have a yellow wire and a green wire and not red and brown and they don't wire it correctly. So that could be a situation there. So check those voltages and make sure everything looks good there. And then retry, once you've established the correct voltages, retry that again, okay? Nine times out of 10, it's usually wiring that occurs. It just wires in the wrong place uh, that occur there. Potentially, what we've discovered as well too, is that when customers start looking at the wires of the trailers, that there might be a short. There could be some kinking in there that goes on, okay? So these are the kind of things you check there in regards to that. You also want to make sure that we try to isolate the auto brake in that scenario. There are times where you take the, iso the auto brake black, you keep it on the, the hot line, and you connect your brown and red with your black to fool the system. Okay, we're going to talk about that a little bit here. You have everything wired up. You have your white and you have your trailer blue wired up. You connect your black, brown, and red. In doing this, the reason why you're doing this is we're trying to determine if the auto brake has something going on with it or it's something else. If you do this, it should light everything up for you, just like we do in our bench testing. It's the same scenario. Okay, you should be able to go through the process. All right. If your wiring is not correct, you will not be able to calibrate your auto brake and you will not see any LED lights come up. Okay. So that's, number, that's one of the areas when it comes to troubleshooting there. Another troubleshooting scenario is if you're braking, is if you are, apply the brakes and you're getting a real hard braking on that. Uh, a couple of things that could occur there is the key fob. Um, you could be, number one, have your setting too high. So you may go from a three to a two or a two to a one and, and try that. Um, also, your key fob may have been pressed inadvertently to get that fine tuning might be a little bit higher on that. That could be another issue there. Sometimes what happens is someone, you may miss the calibration process. You have to calibrate it so it knows where it's at. If you don't calibrate it, it won't know its new home and it could either be a little stronger or not very strong at all. So those are the areas there. If you get a situation like that, that's what you'd look for to attempt to do in that scenario, okay? So just to recap, if you have any issues at all that don't tie in with the troubleshooting hints we provided, Give us a call, contact us. We'll get back in touch with you and we'll walk through a process of troubleshooting with you to see what's going on. Uh, once we get that determined, we'll get everything taken care of for you. What we have discovered, it's really important, again, to have a voltmeter, which is about 10 to $15 for a simple one that we showed you earlier. Having that really helps with you troubleshooting the issues that may occur when wiring this. What we've also discovered, again, is in the past, that customers have found out that the wiring on the trailers may not have been done correctly or there may have been a, a, a cut in the wire or some situation where a wire got kinked or it's grounding out. So it's really important. It's also important to have a really clean ground. When you connect your ground wire, make sure that, that those contacts are very clean and have no corrosion because that can cause some challenges as well too in regards to creating that complete circuit that you need for the auto brake and for your trailer in, in, in general. So again, any challenges, please call us. We'll be happy to help you through the process. We wanna make sure you have a great experience with the auto brake and we'll be happy to talk to you about your fun experiences too. If you have any further questions about the auto brake trailer mounted brake controller, please take a look at our website at www.getautobrake.com or look us up on Facebook.
or more importantly, just give us a call. We'll be happy to help you.